In the last video, we exported everything in our catalog, and now let's verify our export, and then let's finish archiving our entire job. So we're gonna pull up a Finder or a Windows Explorer window just by going to My Computer, and we're gonna to go to the place where we exported our files. So I believe that's under Production. We have Workflow DVD Catalog, and here it is. So right here, we have our print size, and we should have, let's verify this. So let's select only the flagged images. So we should have 163 photos, and in looking in Windows Explorer, we should be able to see we have 163 files right there. So all of our print size have been exported correctly. Let's check out web sized, 163. Each one of these should be stamped, and they are. And they're all shrunken down and sharpened for screen. And then we also have screen unstamped, and these are larger. And these are unstamped so that we can use these for slideshows or for creating, say, web uh, templates and like kind of blog layouts and stuff like that. All right. Now we want to verify also the exported rejects. So let's double click on here. We have 363. Let's verify this against the catalog. So let's check all of our ex or all of our rejected photos. We have 363, so every one of them has been exported correctly. Now we're going to select all of these raw files. We're going to right click and we're going to delete these from our entire gig. Okay, now I would recommend you guys probably wait for the deletion of the raws until after you guys actually deliver the photos. But this is what we do. Once we delivered them, we finish the, uh, the archival process by deleting these RAWs and we just keep the exported rejects, which are exported JPEG to save space. So we're going to say delete from disk. This removes all of our rejects. And now we have just the 164 images that we are delivering and the ones that are unstamped that we're keeping in the catalog. All right, so I'm going to close this down now. Let's hit F to bring back our little X right here. We're going to close it down. I'm going to skip. And now check this out. We have in the originals, there's only 120 total items because the 163 is actually composed of a lot of virtual copies. So there's actually 120 original raw files. We have our print size, web size, screen unstamped, and our rejects, which contains all the other JPEGs. These have all been reset out so that they're all original just from camera. And if we ever need to use them at any point in time, they can still be easily processed as JPEGs, but most likely we won't need them. We'll just keep them just as a backup. All right, and they're much smaller too. So check it out. As a JPEG, they're only like three to four megs. As a RAW, they're like 15 or something. Let's see. They're 11 to anywhere between, I think, 11 and 15. Yeah, there's one's 12 and so on. All right, so now this job right here is done and it's ready to be archived. So at this point, what we would do is we'd transfer it to the archival uh, drive and we typically would add like say a index on here or just a little indicator saying like say complete or something like that. So we'd say archived. Okay, we drag that over to the archival drive and it's done. Now the beauty of the system is that at any point in time, you don't have to be in Lightroom. You can still pop right into this folder. You can check out your images. You can pull them for printing. You can do whatever you need, whether it's web use or print use or slideshow use. And you don't actually have to go back into the catalog. So that's why we do set up all those exports so that we have all of our exported product right here and available just within our file browser window without having to go into Lightroom and set up another export. All right, guys, so we are done with our archival process. We're finished with our catalog, and let's go on to the next video.